is a traditional black forest farming village. Most of the town's 4,000 plus residents work the same land that their ancestors have worked for generations. But it's on the leading edge of a thoroughly modern trend. The community produces all of its own energy from renewable sources, plus enough extra to power 600 homes. This is made possible by the determination and creativity of locals as well as by favorable weather conditions. Triumph happens to have a particularly ample supply of a resource many communities take for granted, and that's wind. Locals live off the land, and they were determined not to waste this potential. So, beginning in the late 1990s, a group led by resident Ernst Limer banded together, and they collected millions of dollars from local investors for three giant windmills. Roughly 90% of the electricity Fryam produces each year is from these turbines. The rest comes from a mix of sources. More than 130 residents have installed solar panels on their roofs. Others have invested in biogas fermenters. Then there's hydropower. Three local businesses have ripped out old water wheels and installed modern hydro turbines. Among them is the 450-year-old Mellert Bakery and Grist Mill. It's been in the Mellert family since 1829. Many of the dozens of machines inside are almost as old. Two local sawmills also run on water turbines. Hidden in the back of this ancient mill is a hydro-powered engine about the size of a car motor. During peak season, it produces enough energy to power the building and the owner's home. But when it comes to creativity, local dairy farmers Walter and Helga Schneider win hands down. Before the milk from their cows can be transported, it has to be cooled. The couple uses a heat exchanger to capture the heat released in the process. The warmth is used to heat water, which is then stored for later use, including home heating. Renewable energy has brought many benefits to Fryamt. Most important to residents is that it has helped preserve the community's character. The extra electricity they produce is fed into the power grid at a healthy profit, and the town now attracts thousands of eco-tourists. This has helped make up for shortfalls due to factors like low milk prices that might have forced locals to abandon their way of life. In other words, technology is helping preserve their traditions. Oh, 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 o